welcome to this week's video. For this week's video, I filmed a get ready and hack out with us using my GoPro. We decided to hack out on a really windy and blustery day, so some of the audio will be voiced over so that you can actually hear what I'm saying. So I'll start by showing you how we prepare to go hacking out uh, and then show you what we get up to whilst hacking. Hopefully you enjoyed this week's video. If you can think of any videos you'd like me to film in the future, then please leave me a comment down below. Without further ado, I'll shut up and I'll show you uh, exactly how we get ready to hack out. So to start with, I'll take Cody's turnout rug off. She's really lucky to have winter turnout in the mornings. and um, So I just start by taking that off and checking her over for any cuts or scrapes. So whilst I'm grooming Cody, I like to use a heat pad on her. I got this idea from Olivia Towers uh, when I saw her video of her using hot water bottles on her horse. Uh, I thought it was a really good way to kind of heat the back muscles up before ridden work. So I used this heat pad which I got from Amazon for about £10, uh, plug it into a power bank and then attach it with a surcingle and a tail bandage around the stomach just to heat the back muscles up before I start to ride her. Next I'll start to tack Cody up, I like to use a pink high vis saddle pad when we go out hacking just so that we are visible to traffic and I'll slowly start to girth her because she does like to breathe out quite a lot whilst I'm doing the girth up. Here I'm putting on our flashing high vis martingale strap, uh, again just so that cars can see us better and it just makes it a bit more safe whilst we're riding out on the roads. Like I mentioned before, it was a really windy and cold day when we hacked out, so I just popped on her ride-on fleece just to keep her bum warm. Next, I'll put on these green high-vis flashing bands over her boots. Um, all of my high-vis and flashing stuff was from eBay or Amazon, and no more than £20 in total, so it's definitely worth it. Lastly, I'll get myself ready to ride out by changing into my riding boots and putting on my riding hat as well as a flashing high vis chest piece and flashing bands around my ankles. Okay, so we're all ready to go. Cody's all ready. I just need to turn her flashing martingale on. Good girl. fabulous where we're based our farm is off of the main road so when you come out of the lane that our farm is on it is on a really busy road of traffic and um, but once you're off of that you're only on it for about five minutes you come onto these country lanes and it's much quieter and a lot easier when you're on a four-year-old on your own and um, so here we are just walking through the uh, water complex that seems to have formed uh, from all the rain on this low bit of road and this is the usual route that I'll take with Cody. The good thing about where we're based is there are quite a few hills uh, so I like to do quite a bit of trot work on our hacks um, just to kind of build Cody's bum muscles up and get those hind legs moving. So I thought I'd tell you a little bit about Cody and how I came to have her. Uh, Cody is four and she will be five this July. She is 16 hands and she's a chestnut warm blood mare. Uh, she's a British warm blood. Her dad was a Dutch warm blood and her mum was a trekkener. Cody was bred by a really close family friend. Uh, he is also one of my instructors and she was bred out of his mare called Kalahari or Kali for short. And I used to ride Kali for my instructor. Uh, when I was a lot younger, when I was about 11 and I did a couple of dressage tests on her here and there and she gave birth to Cody in 2016. So I used to help my instructor break and work with different ponies at his stables so I was able to see Cody when she was a foal and then as she was growing up. In October 2019, when Cody was three, I started to help my instructor to break her in and start to ride her a few times under saddle. 
Then when the lockdown came in March 2020 uh, and the gym shut, I had a lot of free time outside of work. So I started to ride Cody again for him at his stables. Uh, but the problem was that his stables was quite far away from me. So he suggested that I take Cody to a more local stables and just work with her for a few months. And then when he sells her on, I could kind of take a percentage of the sale. So Cody moved to a stable closer to me and essentially I had her on full loan whilst we were getting her ready to be sold and I started to work with her over the summer doing lots of schooling, uh, we did some arena hires, jumping, lots of hacking out, I took her to the beach for the first time just to kind of to expose her to as much as possible because she was so young. I think by about October time uh, my mum had completely fallen in love with Cody and we decided that we were going to be buying her rather than selling her for my instructor. So the plan was to pay for her in instalments and she would be fully ours by the January. In November it was my 22nd birthday and my mum surprised me by explaining that she had already bought Cody and completely paid for her and she was fully ours. So Cody is now owned by me and I'm hoping that she is going to be a event horse. If she is not an event horse then hopefully a top dressage horse uh, because of her movements but she is really brave for a four year old and she's got a good pop on her so I'm definitely hoping that she's going to be a, co a competitive event horse for the future. I really enjoy documenting Cody's progress and I'll always show the good, the bad and the ugly of producing a young event horse as well as trying to juggle a full time job. So this is us just arriving back at the yard now. It wasn't the most interesting hack but I thought you'd like to know a little bit more about me and Cody and how I came to have Cody. Thanks for watching this week's video equines, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did enjoy this video please give us a like and follow our channel, I'll try to post videos every week. Um, also leave me a comment of any kind of videos in the future you'd want me to film. Lastly if you could follow us on Instagram we'd really appreciate it. Our name is Adele Equine and I'll put it somewhere on the screen here. Uh, I'll also put the link to our Instagram in the bio down below. I hope you've enjoyed this week's video, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Thank you.